In this guitar tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, my piece called Choro Andaluz, which has some uh, Choro Brazilian elements mixed in with Andalusian flamenco ideas as well. You can watch a performance of this piece on my channel or click on the link above and let's get stuck in. If you'd like to be able to download the sheet music or also work along with the sound slice, you can join LGM members, which again, you can find the link in the description. Okay, so we're gonna take it from the first uh, four bars. Okay, so what's happening here is uh, a theme which is in D minor. We have this little arpeggio pattern in D minor, with a little pull off at bar two. The second chord, is an E chord with a flat nine, All right? And then the third chord is a an A7 with a sharp five, which is the F natural, and back back to the D, and then we repeat for the next uh, four bars: D minor, E7 flat nine. A7 sharp five, back to D minor. Okay, and that forms the start, and we're gonna move on to the next four bars. Okay, what's happening here is a chromatic, chromatic bass line that moves from F, F sharp G, G sharp A, all the way up to A. Uh, we're gonna end up from, we're gonna end up in A7. But, uh, so starting on F, Okay, which is really still a D minor with an F, F bass. And then as this uh, bass note moves chromatically upwards, it becomes an F sharp diminished. And then, so what we have here is uh, really a G, a G minor. And then we move again up a semitone to G, G sharp diminished. So play together. Okay, and then the next the next bar we have and that's an A7 with a D, kind of a sus4. But we're playing it in a kind of cross string way. Uh, I should also add that aside from um, I should also add that we've got um, bass notes on one and three for the most part. And that just keeps the, the groove going. Okay, uh, and then we move back to the theme. And that would form the A section. Oftentimes in Shoro music, it's written in like a rondo form. So we're gonna have an A, B, A, C, A. So we're gonna go back to that section quite a lot. The B section, we're gonna move to D minor. We're playing this melody, and that um, that melody is un, is on top of a D minor chord, and it, you're playing it in crotchet triplets. So for each of these bass notes, you're going to play three da 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 da, except the first beat is a, is a rest da 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 da, like that, and then we move to. Seven with the G sharp on top, and then slide that down, keeping the triplets going. And this is an out an A seven flat nine, and then moving back to D minor. Okay, let's repeat that. Triplets, E seven, A seven. So, so you might want to decide to either play with the two, three, four, or or one, two, three. It sort of depends. I would probably go to this way because we're going to slide that down. Otherwise, you might end up like this, in which case you have to swap to that for the uh, A7 flat nine. So the second time we get to this point, we're going to go. So D minor, F, 
Now you could say, well, you could say it's a diminished chord, but it's actually, it's actually just a D chord with F sharp bass. And what it does is sets up the next bit, which is G minor. So it's like a tonic, it's like a dominant. So, so we're moving to a G minor. So we're going, and now the next bit is going to be circle of fifths, like this, a bit of a bar chord and a bit of a stretch. So I'm actually barring these two notes with the fourth finger. You could also stretch out like this. So we're going for G minor to C7. Then we're going to F major 7, B flat. Okay, so G minor, C7, F, uh, B flat. So that's, that's our circle of fifths. Next bar is an E arpeggio played in a kind of a rumba style. And then we've got uh, two kind of arpeggios. We've got an E7 flat 9 arpeggio with some slurs, some hammer-ons. So we have to count on one hand. So the first beat is a rest, or the first half beat is a rest. One. It's actually pretty straightforward. Feels very smooth to play that. And then, and then we have an A arpeggio, in which case I have to bar the second fret. I guess if you're struggling to bar that, you might you might end up playing it like that. But I would really encourage you to bar that. Still need to play the open first string. F, E, pull off, and then harmonic on the seventh fret of the fourth string, which is also an A. And that's the B section. We then repeat the A, which is... So we're gonna do that all the way through the A section, um, and that takes us through A, B, A. We're now up to bar 49, which is the C section. In this case, this part is where the Andalusian feel kicks in with the 332 rumba sound. So that's our bass part and we fill it in with this little like this. So let's play it together and we're going to go like that and then which is so we've got a D minor E7 flat 9 a bit like that chord and then we go to A7 and that's also got a sharp 5 in it so some of the same notes as before back to D minor in this case we're going to go so we have to play the bass like that so in this next section we have an Andalusian cadence where we're going to be going So what are we doing? D minor, C, B flat, A, with, um, with the bass note, which is a melody. Like that. So that's going to be played with the thumb. And on top of that, we're going to be going... So you combine those two together and we're going to get So the first time um, is arpeggio all the way and the second time we play we just play a resquetto over the A. So that section is probably one of the harder sections challenge you on the hand because we're playing a bar chord all the way up here you might notice I've got the guitar raised a bit to help me with that and always with bar chords you want to keep a very straight hand and wrist so that you're not sort of bending things too much I find the bar chord you get a lot of purchase from pushing your whole arm towards the guitar and down and with a slightly turned so that's like that kind of that kind of feel. It's also going towards you and you have to tuck it in. So 
try not to do barcodes up here too much. Final section, um, we're going to this arpeggio 332 pattern uh, in G minor to C to F to B flat, which is again a circle of fifths. Like that. This is bar 62. So you kind of keep these two fingers down. And then. So it's a 332 pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three. We go F and then we B flat, um, which you can also play the. Um, you can have an open bass there uh, just to do a connector. And then we move back and do that again. So the bass notes are G, D, C sharp, C, G, C, F, C, F, B flat, C. Flat F. We do that twice, and then we go back to our the arpeggio we did before. So that's the C section, and then we finally move back to the A, and then back to, and then we have a little coda section. So we're going to finish off with the coda, which is bar eighty nine. So we're going to go uh, just before it. So we're going. To... Now we're going to go G minor. E7, kind of a variation on the theme there, which is over A, G minor, so we have the open D as well, E7, now this time we're, we're going to play this chord, which is an E flat 7, uh, sorry, an E7 chord, and then final arpeggio, so we're going to go, completing the D minor arpeggio, A, D, E, and then 10th position, like that, and then the final chord, like that, which is like a D minor, D minor 6, do a strong final ending. And that's it, I hope you enjoy that, let me know if you have any questions.